at one point in the in the Eastern Conference Finals, and people not realizing like it's 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 tough to get past this motherfucker. I don't care who you are, you know what I mean. And see him come to the West and be able to do the same thing. It's 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 a testament to his greatness and you know his IQ to the game when he when he go out there and play. You know, um, I remember um. You said 16 when we went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, we won game three and four, and it was like a whole nother mindset click for him. And the players to coach against, and one most difficult in going through them with the, in the playoffs was LeBron James. This guy was looking in your mouth like right there and just calling it, it was telling the players exactly what was going to happen on the play that you call. And I remember. I don't, I don't know if I even told nobody other than my close circle. I remember it was um, it was a play we was trying to run, and one of our teammates forgot the play, and Brian told him the play. But I was also in the gym when I watched him on the floor against Toronto tell Patrick Patterson where he was supposed to go on the play they had called out of timeout late in the fourth quarter. He's like, no, Pat, you're supposed to stand over there, and you're going to pin down for DeMar over here. Wow. That's, that's hilarious. That's who he is. <laughs> like, it was some crazy shit. It was some like, it was some crazy stuff. We called it a play. He was like, what? And Brian told him what our play was. You know, and it just shows you like how locked in this dude be when it comes to that, come the winning time, man. And, and you see it when he out there 